Hey Pixies, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kia, your favorite, and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be giving you all a quick tutorial on how I achieve this sleek and glamorous look. The reason why I really like this look is because it's super quick, go-to, very glam and sleek. You can use recycled hair for this look. And with the summertime coming up, I can feel myself wearing this quite frequently. So if you're interested in knowing how I achieve this fun and flirty ponytail, just keep watching. All right, so I know what you're thinking. What well, ponytail says is not needed. Well, my mama tried to ask me was my ponytail fake. It'd be your own mom. Just kidding. <laughs> but starting off on freshly washed and blow dried hair to slick my hair back, I just use a paddle brush to make sure my hair was like really from the root detangled because we don't want any lumps any bumps using this cure care wax stick it's the best i think this is good for like you know semi straight styles because it keeps the hair straight and it doesn't curl up the edges and then just going over that with a bristle brush and making sure i detangle my ends so that once i braid my hair up i can get the tightest and most smoothest braid possible it's going to be essential for this style so you get a nice Nice, sleek look today we're gonna to be using some textured hair but especially if you're using you know some straight hair or some hair that doesn't have as much texture in it you're gonna to want to make sure you get a tight braid Once I have my braid, I just give it a final tug, make sure it's secure, and then I wrap a ponytail holder around the end to tuck it. This is the hair we're gonna be using today. I'll have it linked down below. Literally, y'all, my sister wore this hair for her wedding, and she just wore it like literally for the couple of hours for her wedding, and then she like threw it at me on the way to her honeymoon, was like, here, wear this, cause she doesn't take care of hair. But yeah, I'm just starting off by detangling the hair, making sure it's in one direction, it's essential. All you need for this style is pins, I promise you it was super quick and easy you don't need any type of technical skills no glue no sewing nothing all you have to do is pin the hair vertically um, onto your braid and wrap the wefts around the braid when you're wrapping the wefts you just want to make sure that they're as close as possible on top of each other and then every three or four wraps whatever you feel comfortable with just add a bobby pin and just continue to wrap that hair around super tight pin vertically so that you know the pin is in alignment with the braid give it a nice tug demonstrating here that this hair isn't going anywhere you can whip it you can swing it so don't be afraid to just use this pin method and then of course as i go along i want to detangle to make sure i'm getting a smooth and sleek look right here i'm just showing you when you start a new weft um just make sure you go a inch up you know up from the weft so that if the hair does slide while you're wearing the ponytail it has a little slack and it doesn't come right off if you do it right at the end if it slides a little it won't have anywhere to go your hair is going to start slipping out but if you give it you know just a little bit of room and then wrap on top of that if the ponytail moves and slides um, then you'll be good to go and then again you just continue to pin vertically into the ponytail um, to secure it and then keep wrapping around just tightly and very closely along the weft but make sure you're moving the hair up as you go um, and then just continue to make sure that you detangle the hair and you know just make sure it's secure as you're going and you should be good now you want to take a piece of hair once you get to the top and brush it out this hair is going to be used to wrap around the base of the ponytail using some gossipy glue spray here because that's going to make the piece of hair stay and be smooth i want to brush it out and then i start wrapping from underneath in the back to get that piece of hair nice and taut and make sure that we have a smoothness on top so wrapping it underneath will make sure you don't have a lump sitting on top give it another brush as many brushes as you need um, to make sure this piece of hair is smooth because this is just going to give it a sleek and nice look at the end it's just all about the details so take your time with this part if you need to add more spray add more spray um, and just try to place the hair on top of each other and on top of that ponytail the 
point here is to disguise the ponytail holder so it just all looks like the hair is blending together once it's time to pin it again I leave a little bit of the hair and I pin it towards the back I don't pin the hair all the way to the end because again if it slides it'll have nowhere to go so just leave a little piece and then just tuck that piece away somewhere now I am just going to do a little sprucing to the hair. You can leave it, you know, big and combed out. It's kind of cute as it goes along during the week and gets bigger. But at first I like to define it. So I'm just using this hydrating spray from Bio Silk. It doesn't have to be this one. Just like water, some hydrating spray, something that'll, you know, go into the hair. And I'm just using um, this Garnier Fructis Sleek Serum. It's anti frizz and I like it and um yeah just going through continuing to just brush that product and detangle the hair I think these products are good for curly hair so I'll link them down below if you want to check them out and yeah that is the end of the style as I promised is super quick and easy and it's just really really cute so there you have it, super easy go-to look that is very stylish and you don't have to break the bank if you have extra hair lying around. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who this could help. Also follow me on Instagram at Kia Moo, and I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye!